Hey guys, so within the past year, I made the transition from using Adobe XD into utilizing Figma. And as a total beginner, I really had to learn everything from scratch. So today, I'm here to teach you about one of the basics of setting up a layout grid in Figma. I highly recommend utilizing layout grids because it makes the transition from going design to development way easier and more seamless. All right, so I've got my blank Figma canvas set up here. And what we're going to do first is go ahead and insert a frame. So the hotkey easiest way to do that is by just clicking F on your keyboard. And it's going to automatically bring up all the frame options for you on the right hand side. Now for me, I always utilize the one titled wireframe. This one's 1440 pixels wide by 1024. Um, and because of the container width that I personally use at 1200 pixels, this width works perfectly for me. So I'm going to go ahead and select wireframe and you'll see it'll automatically pop in that frame for you. Now, as we're beginning to set up the layout grid, make sure that you have your frame selected by selecting the name of it in the top left corner of that frame. It's going to pull up these options on the right hand side that we need to utilize. Most notably is here, the layout grid. So we go ahead and click layout grid. It's going to drop in a default grid, um, utilizing the small box grid, right? This isn't personally what I use and how I lay out my grid. So in order to edit this, we're going to select this icon next to the grid 10 pixels. And this is going to bring up our options. First is selecting the grid dropdown and go with columns. A column layout is really what's most used within web design and what I personally use as well. So um, for me, we're utilizing a 1200 pixel container width. I also utilize a 12 column layout. And so in this first option for count, I'm going to change this five to 12 and hit tab. So you'll see now my frame updated with 12 columns. Now what you'll see though is we don't want those 12 columns to span the entire width of our frame, right? Because this is 1440 pixels wide. We really only want these 12 columns to span the 1200 pixel container that we des design and develop within. And so in order to constrain the width of these columns, we need to do a little bit of math to come up with the margins on the left and right to adjust them accordingly. All right, so if we remember our contain or our frame, excuse me, is 1440 pixels. And as I mentioned, I use a 1200 pixel container. So if we subtract 1200 from 1440, we get 240 pixels. Now, if we divide that by two, we get 120 pixels, and that's what's going to be our left and right margins we'll set up in order to constrain the width of our column grid. So here in our panel, once again, come to margin, and we're going to insert 120 and hit tab. So now you'll see uh, we've got left and right margin space, and those 12 columns are now constrained to the middle at 1200 pixels wide. And we can go ahead and draw a rectangle just so you can see this is exactly correct, 1200 pixels. You may need to do a little bit of different math based on the container width that you might utilize uh, for your layouts. Um, and then lastly, we have gutter. So the default is set at 20 pixels and actually this is the default that I also use. Um, feel free to update this, maybe use a 12 pixel gutter or maybe it's 24 pixels, whatever it might be, um, update that accordingly so that the space between your columns uh, aligns with how you design and develop. And lastly is the opacity on the color. Um, you can definitely change this to any color. I actually leave it at this uh, red with the opacity to it. Um, except I always lower the opacity to about 4%, um, just keeping it much lighter so it doesn't obstruct me as I'm designing um, and kind of get in the way. So um, I'll bump this back up just so you can see it. 
but adjust that opacity as, as needed uh, for your own preferences. Now, as you're laying out and designing and utilizing the grid, you might insert some column, uh, some boxes, uh, different card layouts, um, you know, whatever it might be. And then you get to a point and you say, okay, now I want to see this without my grids. Well, a quick tip to hide and show your grid on your keyboard is by clicking shift and G. This will automatically hide your grid. So now you can view your design without the grid. Now you can pop that grid back in, shift G again, and get back to designing. All right, so that's really how simple and easy it is to set up grids within Figma. Uh, I can't tell you how important it is to utilize grids to really take out the guesswork in laying out your designs and your content so they're pixel perfect every time. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.